Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Today we're going to do a really, 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 really easy stitch. It's houndstooth. It's very classic. Everybody's seen what this is before and everybody knows that I love my Suzette stitch. This is almost exactly the same thing, almost as easy. All you have to do is pick up two colors that you like and get the hook that is recommended and you're ready to go. This is super, super easy. This will only take a few minutes for you to get the hang of it, and it'll be great. And this is a, such a classic stitch. I'm going to use blue. I use blue here. I'm going to use light blue here. This is, so many things are made in pinks and other colors, and everything look on, so looks so girly sometimes when you're trying to come up with things for like a baby boy. This is a very classic stitch, so that's why I'm going to use blue today. So you just start out with either color. I'm going to use light blue here. This is all Karen Simply Soft White and Karen Simply Soft uh, Soft Blue. Karen Simply Soft and Cobalt Blue. I'm going to use the light blue. So you start out with whichever one you want. I usually start out with the one that's not white. If I'm using a white. The classic is a black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. see a lot of them in red as well. I just decided to be a little bit different. Start with your slip knot any way you make your slip knot works for me. And I have my 5mm hook to go with my Karen Simply Soft. Chain any odd number that you want. And there's 15. Chain of 15. Very, very easy. Not this one. Just going to single crochet back. I like to go through the back bumps because it leaves such a, such a nice edge right here. You don't have to, but I like it that way. Especially if you're going to be putting on a border later of any kind. You really will be very pleased <laughs> that you took the extra time to go through these back bumps if you decide to put a border on anything. Because this row right here will go much smoother. We're just single crochet all the way down. That's how I like to start them out. I just like to have that nice edge. There's the last two back bumps for this first row of single crochet. Single crochet is not part of the repeat pattern. It's just the way that I like to start it out so it has a nice crisp edge right here. Alright, so now we will start. So we chain one and we're always going to begin with a single crochet. Every row will start with a single crochet. So our very first stitch right here, boom. And in the next stitch is a double crochet. Single crochet and then a double crochet. This stitch gets a single. The next stitch gets a double. Single. Double. Single. Double. Single. Double and single and a double. You will always end with a double crochet. You will always begin with a single crochet. Alright, so a single double, single double, all the way down. Very easy. Every other, alternating every other stitch. And here's our very last stitch. In this row is a double crochet. We're going to go through, the, there's three loops on my hook. We're going to go through the first two. And then we're going to add our white. Or whatever your second color is. Today I'm working with the light blue and the white. So I'm adding in white right there. Finish that stitch. And a chain one. And turn our work. Every other row is a change of color. So we want to take the light blue here and carry it along with us all the way down. So we're just going to crochet around this guy. We tighten it up a little bit but not too much. 
So we're going to go through here and under and a single crochet. Remember we always start with a single crochet. And we have our tail right here. This will be our working yarn for the next row so we want to carry it down so when we turn our work it'll be ready. Second stitch in this row is a double crochet. All you have to do all the way down as long as you are alternating and carrying along the non-working yarn everything is peachy. There's a double crochet and there's my single single and double all the way down and carry along our blue because we're going to need it in just a second and we don't want it to be on the other end and here's my last single crochet in this row and here's my last double crochet so again don't finish this stitch all the way we're going to go under the first two I'm going to make sure you don't have too much slack in this light blue so tighten it up a little bit if it starts pulling in like that it pulled in way too much just straighten it out make sure you don't have any any little loops of the light blue that accidentally didn't come along tightly so we're going to drop our white and pick up the blue again and finish this stitch. Chain one, turn our work and do the exact same thing again. Always start with a single crochet and you will always end with a double crochet. And we want to carry the non-working yarn with us. There's my single and here's a double. And there's a single and a double. So we're carrying our sing the non-working yarn along with us. And I can already tell right back here that it's a little bit a little bit too much slack. So we'll fix that in just a second. Just keep going over. The non-working yarn is a single crochet and a double crochet. See how easy this stitch is? It's amazingly easy. This is, I would consider this a very easy but basic beginner stitch, but it looks really, really fun. It looks so fancy because everybody's seen Houndstooth. There we go. We're not going to completely finish that. But see I have a little bit of slack down here so we're just going to tug on this white a little bit not too tight just make sure that it is not bunched up back here okay we're going to drop our blue and pick up the white chain one turn our work and continue it's so simple first one is always a single crochet and work over that non-working yarn. There's a double all the way down. Remember you always will be ending with a double crochet. If that doesn't happen then probably need to recount or rip out that row and start over again. Because somehow along the way you missed the alternations. And again here's the last stitch we don't complete it there's three loops on my hook go under two still have two loops on my hook I want to tug on this blue a little bit make sure that I don't have too much slack pick up the light blue and finish this stitch chain one turn our work so you just keep doing this for as long as you want see it works up so quickly you can see the pattern already it already jumps out at you just like here such a classic little stitch everybody's seen 
seen houndstooth before and it's so easy to make. It's just fun. So we're going to finish this stitch with the white. Chain one, turn our work, tighten that up a little bit. And our first stitch is always a single crochet. Right, so we're going to do one last row. I like to end with the same color I started with. So we're going to finish off this stitch with the blue and chain one. Turn our work and repeat again with the single going over the white. Double, single, double, all the way down. And we're working over our non-working yarn. And my very last stitch. I am going to complete this one right now because this is going to be my last repeat on this particular swatch of my houndstooth pattern. So the way that I finish it off is exactly the way that I started it with one row of single crochet. So we're done with the white. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, single crochet all the way across. I just like to finish off my stitches that way. I've been that way forever. I like to finish my work and start my work with a single crochet row. It just makes a nice, even edge. Makes a nice, even edge all the way down, especially if you want to put a border on this. If you're making a big blanket or a scarf and you want to have a border on it, it makes it really easy. And here's my very last stitch. And now I would just finish off any way you want. So easy. This is almost a no-brainer. It's so easy. You can see that it's not com ex absolutely the same on both sides, but it's very close. You really can pick which side you like better. I like that one. I think that one looks great. But other people might pick this one. Right here, and right here. You can definitely consider it reversible. Very easy beginner stitch. All you need is single crochets and double crochets, and you can make something that looks this cute. Show off right away with your very first, with your very first little swatch that you made a pattern that people actually recognize. It's like, hey, you made a houndstooth. That's really cool. So there we go. Isn't he cute? Okay, so crochet away. Make yourself a beautiful scarf or a blanket. It's almost a no-brainer. You can sit and watch a movie and just keep going because these stitches are so easy and the repeat is all the same. Really is the same. So always start with a single crochet and always end with a double crochet and remember to carry your yarn. Those are the only rules. So, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so I can keep doing really fun things like this and share them all with you. And uh, stop back soon. I'll see you, I'll see you very soon. Thanks. Bye.